Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't seen you guys in a really long time, but it's only been a week. And well, today I'm gonna take you back. Today, do you guys remember walking in the mall and smelling and looking over and seeing a really good Mrs. Field chocolate chip cookie? Well, today, I found this recipe online and I am curious to see if this really takes me back and really tastes like a Mrs. Field chocolate chip cookie. So have all your ingredients ready. They are all listed down below. While you're down there, make sure you like it. That way I know if you guys want more chocolate chip cookie recipes. Have all your ingredients ready and let's get started. Okay. We are gonna get started with one cup of brown sugar, and it has to be firmly packed into the measuring cup. Next, we add half a cup of ground granulated sugar. Okay, now it says to beat these two with the paddle mixture for about a minute on medium. Here we go. Okay, that's mixed. Now on to the second part. Okay, next up you want two sticks of butter. This time we want salted butter and you wanna cut them into half inch cubes and you want cold butter too. I thought this was interesting because I've never had it. I've always had like softened or hot or warm or microwaved, but they asked for cold butter. So I'm gonna cut it up into half inch cubes and then we'll put it into the sugar mixture. That looks good. Okay, now we want to add the butter to the sugar mixture. Make sure they're broken into the half inch pieces. And we are going to mix it on medium for about four to five minutes until it turns into like a grainy paste. Let me wash my hands before I touch my mixer because they are buttery. Back. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this on for medium until it gets a, until it turns into like a grainy paste. Watch out for flying butter. It's rolling all over the place since it's cold. Now that's looking like a grainy paste to me. Moving on to the next part. Okay, next you want to add in two eggs. I'm getting into the habit of cracking the eggs into a separate bowl just in case any of the shell gets in there and then you don't want to pick it out. So I'm just cracking it into that separate bowl. So see, <laughs> I got a little tiny eggshell in there. That's why I do that. Don't want that. Don't want to find that in my cookie later in a pretty neat way to get the eggshell out is to use the actual eggshell and it comes out really easy. Okay, so we have our two eggs. Next, you wanna add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Okay, we've got our two teaspoons. And it says we just beat on low for like a minute because you don't wanna over mix it. Okay, now we want to add two and a half cups of flour. So I'm going to go ahead and add that.
cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. I'm gonna get a little creative here. I'm gonna set aside some dough because I wanna make white chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> That's just for me. Um, but for you guys at home, just doing regular chocolate chips, do two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And just stir it. Okay, for my white chocolate chip cookies, I'm just chopping up a white chocolate bar that I have, and I'm gonna throw the chunks in there. So I guess it's gonna be a white chocolate chunk cookie. That sounds even better. Mmm, I'll show you guys that one too, just in case you guys wanted to try that out. All right, now it says to make 19 cookies using one fourth of a cup measuring spoon, roll them out and flatten them out on a plate so we can put them in the refrigerator to cool before we put them in the oven. So I'm gonna start on my mold. So I got my one fourth cup here, roll it up and flatten it out a little bit. And I'm gonna add, you know I like to add more chocolate chips on the top for presentation. Okay, that looks good. Now we wrap these up and put them in the fridge for 30 minutes. For my second batch, I put parchment paper underneath cause I don't know if the cookies are gonna stick to the plate. They were kind of sticking earlier on the first batch. So I'm just gonna try this out and see how that works. Now this will go in the fridge for 30 minutes as well. Okay, while the cookies are chilling in the refrigerator, you can go ahead and do the dishes. That's what I love to do. And turn on your oven. That way you can start warming up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 148 degrees Celsius. And we have a few more minutes until we can pop them in the oven. Okay, I left them in a little longer than I anticipated. So, they are ready to go. I'm going to put them in a pan with some parchment paper and make sure they're about two inches apart. Okay, so after that, I definitely recommend lining the plate with parchment paper because I don't know if you saw, I had to like scrape it off just a regular plate. So good call that I lined it after cause it was definitely stuck. So good tip for you guys to know. Okay, now I put six cookies on the sheet because you wanna keep them a good two inches apart. And now we're gonna put them in the oven that we have preheating for 15 minutes or until they look golden brown. And we wait, I'm really anxious and excited to try these out. Mm. So I had to leave the cookies in a little longer than it said in the recipe. On the recipe it said 15, 16 minutes, but they were not ready at all. I put them in for another like five minutes and they look a little better. <laughs> Here's what they look like. They did get really flat. They're so big and flat. <laughs> All right, let's do a taste test and... Mm. I do get a little bit of a Mrs. Field hint. Mmm. Mmm, that's really good. Mmm, that's definitely a good soft chocolate chip cookie. 
I'm still on the hunt for my favorite chocolate chip cookie and I need your guys' help. Send me more recipes so I can try them out and make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. That way you'd be notified of all my future uploads. Thank you guys for watching and can't wait to see you in my next video. Mwah.